Welcome to Top 1260 KTRC. You're listening to the humanity behind the vanity. This is Dr. Daniel Rennell. I'm here with my wife, Betsy. I'm still here, getting over cold. Okay. <laughs> and we have, our guest is Julia Bergen, who's the director of FACT. Fine Arts for Children and Teens. And they were just recognized by the White House. And for those of you watching on YouTube, I'm holding up a picture of Michelle Obama with one of a student from, right. from the program. Oh, yeah, from, from the program. Salazar Elementary School. And right. a teacher. And, it's and, one, of the and one of our teachers. So one of tell us. Members. Tell us yeah. about that. Yeah, tell us. Well, first of all, thank you both, Daniel and Betsy, for having me on your show. It is it's our really, pleasure. It's really an honor. And thank you as well for all the really important and valuable work you do in support of nonprofit organizations and other entities throughout the community. It's exactly. really important, and it takes a community yeah. to create a healthy and viable community. So exactly. thank you. And your program you. is true recognition of that. So thank you. thank you for having me on the program. And indeed, um, we are so honored to have been um, one of 15 recipients of a President's Committee for the Arts and Humanities Youth Program Award. Wow. We received the award in the fall of 2010. One of our teachers, Melinda Baker, an 11-year-old student, BNA, who attends Salazar Elementary School and is a student in our after-school art club program, with her parents flew to Washington we were a happy little entourage yeah. and stayed in a wonderful hotel right next to the Capitol. Oh, and right. the ceremony took place in the East Room of the White House. And Melinda, VNA, and a group of other um, staff and representatives from the other 14 organizations were able to meet her and received wow. not only a beautiful plaque, but each organization also received a $10,000 wow. grant. Huge. Wow. And this is nice. in recognition. The, the award is, in its entirety, is recognizing after-school, non-school hour programs that are serving high-risk populations. Mm -hmm. um, and their emphasis, it seems, in really looking carefully at the other organizations that received gifts or awards, they, they really are thoughtful about ensuring that they're recognizing smaller grassroots organizations, right. that it's not important. just the top right. tier of organizations right. that have a lot of um, perhaps financial or resource support. These yes. are you know, organizations that are really, really working hard with limited resources and in communities that really, really, really need the kind of programming that FACT offers. And before I describe what our Art Club After School program is, and get into the details of the different programs we offer, I'd like to just give you a little bit of background on sure. the organization and our history. And um, we are 21 years old this month. Wow. That's old. I didn't I realize you were that old. old. Oh, yeah. You know, we've really, we're adults now. This yeah. is a <laughs> big time. That's and terrific. in that, you know, it, it sort of makes having gone to the White House so all the more appropriate, oh, you yes. know, we are of an age to exactly. be. You know, received in the East Room of the White House. So, right, that's right. Um, I became the director of FACT in January of 2000, so this is the beginning oh, wow. of my 11th year as our director. Wow. And the organization was founded by two really visionary, brilliant art educators, Juliet Myers and Roseanne Cadis. And they met and discovered that they had a shared dream and um, desire, which was to find a way to address the void of art education, particularly visual arts, yes. in the elementary schools in Santa Fe. And 20 years ago, there was no art in our schools sure. at the elementary level. And so together, they served initially as itinerant art um, providers, art teachers, and mm -hmm. out of the back of their little Subaru <laughs> wagon, <laughs> provided Fine. art to different schools as well as to Girls Inc. and the Museum of Fine Arts, and eventually, they were able to start an after-school program in a building on the rail yard, and from there began a partnership with Partners in Education, which used to be directed by Valerie Ingram, who okay. we were speaking about earlier. We love Valerie. Yeah. We do love Valerie. And um, that led to um, some really sub substantial programs in the Santa Fe Public School District with different elementary schools. And through that, our program, which is a school day integrated arts learning program called Art Reach, was born, and after that program, both Rosanna and Juliet were beginning to see, um, to get to know the kids, and they began to see that 
a lot of them were leaving school at the end of the day and going home alone to empty houses yeah. and with no real support or activity happening and so they then decided to create an after school program which has then um, expanded over the years um, within Santa Fe to serve um, seven Title I public elementary schools and we do all of the fundraising for those programs so there's no cost to the school or to the participants. And we, we know that um, in the after school hours, while it's important to provide engaging learning experiences for children, we also really know that kids need decompression time yes. and they need to unwind and they need to play and they need to feel that they can just let go and right. have fun. Right. And so after school for us is some time on the playground and a good snack time and a, an opportunity to share tidbits about the day and just, as I said, to decompress and then they focus in on the art lesson and art making and it's still just as rigorous and thoughtfully created. Every lesson is tied to a larger outline of lessons that tie to a specific developmentally appropriate curriculum and they're working in all visual art disciplines. So there's a lot of good learning, but we yes. want kids in the, in the after school to really feel like, ah, yay, I can have some fun, and right. I don't have to worry about meeting a lot of ex higher level right. um, and higher learning expectations. And art making is fun. I mean, art is fun. Making art is fun. Yeah. It is, and yeah. learning is yeah. really fun. Yeah. It can be really fun. And yeah. one of the things that we really try to do across the board, and also, um, significantly in our Art Reach School Day programs is while they're integrated across core content areas so that we're really tying the arts into different academic yeah, subjects, yeah, cool. a classroom teacher and students can discover that classroom time when you're studying math or social studies or another um, subject can also be really fun yes. and hands-on and multidisciplinary and I think that it absolutely then connects children to different ways of thinking about what it means to be a learner, what it means to be a student in school, right. and it really helps um, encourage kids to stay in school, right. especially right. for kids for whom um, being in school is challenging. Exactly. So, um, How available, like, um, you know, does every child have access to this within the schools that you serve, or is it specific children only? Well, in Santa Fe, our programming in in conjunction with the public schools is limited to after school with the exception of Tsuke. Okay. And then our school day programs are up in Española, in the Española School District, and there we're serving all 11 elementary schools, wow. Wow. all of the second grades um, for a full 28 week, which is a full school year program. Right. And then kindergarten, first and third at different schools according to the art um, programming that the principal and those teachers decide that they want for the school. but. Um, so in certain in certain places it's self selecting, in yeah. others it's a tie to an after school program. Right. right. And then we have a community studio where any kids can come, and I'll get to that. Oh, yeah, yeah, get to that next segment. segment. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. That's yeah. amazing. I just sure. love it. I love it. We have about a minute, so. Oh, okay. Uh, so this week. Why don't you give contact with... info now? Yes. We'll wrap sure. it up with that. Because okay. we can edit this. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not live. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So if you're interested in learning more about fine arts for children and teens, I encourage you to please call our office, which is 505-992-2787. Um, That's 505-992-2787. You can also learn more about us on, at our website, and it's factsantafe.org, all lowercase f-a-c-t santafe.org. And we're also on Facebook. Yes, you are. We are Art Fact on Facebook and we love to have new friends so please check us out and share your thoughts and ideas about art education and ask questions about our programs. We really are happy to serve you. Yes. Okay, right. good. We'll be right back. Well, we've got a tip coming up from Marion Urban yeah. and then we'll be right back to talk more with Julie Bergen about FACT. <laughs>